guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep going, but y'all already know if it's good. I'm going to keep on talking. The golden nugget today is catching a whale. What am I talking about? That whale is your manifestation. The thing is, some of us hadn't caught that whale yet. What is the whale? Like I said, it's the manifestation. Reason why we're not catching the whale is because we're on shore trying to catch it. Our toes are in the sand. Not a lick of the water has touched our toes. We got to go deeper. We got to go deeper. Some of us are still on shore talking about, yeah, I'm about to catch this whale. <laughs> I'm about to get this manifestation and your toes ain't even wet. You got to dive deeper. You got to go a little deeper. How do you go deeper? That deeper may be what? You gotta pray a little bit more. That deeper may be what? You gotta meditate a little bit more. That deeper gotta be what? You gotta be a little bit more consistent with staying what? Aligned and connected, which means what? Having God at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, thus you're able to see within your journey with some clarity, and then you'll know, oh, the deeper part of it all is I gotta do this. Because some of us, I'm included, some of us sometimes get to the state where we think, I put in a request, and now you just gotta sit. You ain't gotta do a thing. Y'all know faith without works is dead. Whether the work is what? You doing something with your hands or what? You you doing something with your mental. Some of you guys are stuck on the shore because what? You've been entertaining. I can include myself because I've been there before. We have entertained or still entertaining things that pushes us back on shore. Some of us was in the water. We were so deep, just real close to catching that big whale, right? And then here comes drama from family members, drama from coworkers, drama from friends, uh, the things that we watch on TV that causes more drama, uh, negative things and things we're entertaining. And the more we're involved in that stuff, eating that stuff up, even if you had, your intentions was not even to be involved in that mess, but somehow you got caught up all up in it, right? And because you got caught up all in it, what ended up happening? It began to push you back to shore, far away from that well you're supposed to be catching of a manifestation. So I'm telling you right now, dive deep. Get your toes wet. Cut off that drama. Like I said, sometimes that drama is going to come through people that's close to you. It don't mean you can't love them, but you can show love them from a distance, okay? From a distance, from a distance. You know what I'm talking about. Love her from a distance. Sometimes you just got to let people be so that you can catch your whale. Don't you want to catch the whale? I ain't telling you to catch it to eat it, but you're going to catch it to do something with it, that manifestation. You know what you've been requesting? You got to get off the shore. You got to get your toes wet. You got to go deeper. And like I said, that deeper may just be you wet. Meditating a little bit more. Praying a little bit more. Being consistent with what? Staying aligned and connected. Go deeper. And you, when you get that clarity of it all, source, of, source God will tell you, hey, may gear you up to say, hey, go to this bank tomorrow and deposit so and so and so amount of money. And who knows, when you get that to deposit, you may run into somebody that says, hey, listen, I don't know you from a hill of beans. But I have a feeling that you may work for this project. You, you may benefit from what I'm about to do. You don't know how source is going to come through for you. You really don't know, but you won't know unless you begin to what? Dive deep because you do want to catch the whale. You do want to catch it. I have a nephew who, who um, fishes all the time. And he's always catching stuff. They even had him on the news from for, from uh, catching for catching um, large bass and all this other good stuff. But I guarantee you, he didn't catch those fish or what have you by him being on shore. He caught them because he went deeper, and because he went deeper, he was able to catch what he needed to catch or what he wanted to catch. And right now, you want to catch that big whale, right? I know I want to catch my big whale of a manifestation. So what we have to do is what? Dive a little deeper. Go deeper. And like I said, that deeper may represent, you may have to pray a little bit more. It may be a little more, more um, meditation. It may be you stop having so many conversations with your coworkers because the conversations y'all been having has been putting you back on shore, which means what? It's been you've been entertaining stuff that's, that's not good for your mental, which means what? It's retracting you being positive. 
It's caused you to think in a negative manner. It's caused you to think that things are impossible in your life. It's putting you back on shore. So listen, if you got to cut off some things, some people, places, okay? Cut it off. Still love them from a distance, but cut them off for right now. And focus on diving deep, going deeper into that thing, getting your toes wet. And I guarantee you, before you know it, you'll begin to feel a little tug. You know how it is when you go fishing. I, ain't never been, I have never been fishing before in my life, but y'all know I really want to go fishing. I've been wanting to go fishing since I was a little kid, and I still haven't gone. My husband keeps telling me, girl, you, hey, you, I don't think you're going to like it, but I, I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to have to make some time to figure out how to go, okay? Well, I'm going to do this thing. When I go, I'm going to have to include y'all in it, okay? But the thing is, y'all, when you are in the deep part of it all, which means what? You're either praying more, doing whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, the source and God has guided you to do and be or whatever you. Listen, you'll begin to feel a little tug, you know? You, you Oh, oh. Hey, I just felt some. <laughs> I just felt. Hey, y'all. I oh, I, I just felt something, and it feel big. It ain't a shoe. I know it's not a shoe. Ooh, it, this ain't a shoe. Ooh, this ain't a. Oh, yo, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. This is a big one, and you begin to wear reel it in, and that for you will be those signs and signals. It will get to to a space, y'all. Oh, it's gonna be a long one, y'all. I don't want y'all running them almost in seven minutes, but it start getting to the place when you are so deep in it, okay? Whether it's praying or whatever or whatever you're doing to get into that catching that big wheel of a manifestation, you'll begin to see the signs and signals around to where when you think about it, you'll start seeing it everywhere. Almost like when you requested a, a new car and you know what that car is, you know what car you've requested, you begin to see that car everywhere. Oh, that's my car. Oh, I just, and before, before you weren't seeing that car nowhere, nowhere around, but now you, you're seeing your car everywhere. Whether you turn the TV on or commercials on, that your car. You get what I'm saying? It's like that. That's that tug. Like, oh, it's getting close. Okay, I can feel it. Okay, and now you, it's time to reel it on in because now you got, now you got it on the hook. Now it's on the hook. So now you just got to reel it on in. You was waiting there patiently, but now it's time to reel it in. All because you decided to go a little deeper. Listen, go a little deeper. Figure out what that deeper is for you. Make sure you stay aligned and connected. Keeping God at the forefront of your life. Moving in the three and thus you'll be able to have that clarity. And when that tug begins to get you, get excited. But make sure you continue to hold strong because sometimes in the middle of that tug, you can get a little tired. Your arms like your shoulders will get, whoo, this, this is a big one. This wheel is a, oh, it's a big one. But you got to hold strong and keep reeling it in because it's already on the hook. It's already there. Matter of fact, the manifestation was already in the water. You just had the hook. You just had to hook it. I'm getting excited, y'all, which means I'm already at eight minutes right now. I'm get, I'm approaching eight minutes right now. But listen, it's on the hook right now. Dive deep. Reel it in. Get your manifestation. Cut things away that needs to be cut away. Love people, places, and things from a distance until they get a line of connection, okay? I'm going to talk to y'all soon, but I hope y'all got it. Catching the big fish your big fish, your manifestation. You just got to go in a little deeper. And then when you finally get it on that hook, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. And, I, and I'm rooting for you. You already know that. I hope y'all understood it. If you didn't, rewind it and watch it again. Share with family members and friends. I'll talk to y'all soon. If you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, ever, ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.